Alright, so let's talk about the Skyrim DLC for just a little bit. Dawnguard, the first DLC for Skyrim, starts like a lot of main quests in the game. Villagers will be talking about recent vampire attacks and let slip the rumor that somebody in the east is trying to do something about it and refound the Dawnguard. If you investigate, you'll find scenic Dayspring Canyon and the imposing Fort Dawnguard. The leader, Isram, tells you that he's refounding an ancient order of vampire hunters and that he could use your help. From there, you set out on an adventure to try and figure out why the vampires have become more aggressive lately and if you can stop them, or if you so decide, if you can assist them. But one, I offer you my blood. Take it and you will walk as a lion among sheep. Dawnguard is a very solid expansion for Skyrim. In addition to an entirely new quest line, it also adds a lot of features and accoutrements that help give it its whole vampire hunter theme. There are new missions, some graphical updates to the vampires themselves, and even an entirely new set of gear designed specifically for hunting vampires. The most prominent of which is probably the crossbow, a new ranged weapon that trades increased damage in exchange for longer reload times. What's really interesting about Dawnguard is that if you don't feel like hunting vampires, it's possible to join up with Lord Harkon and his vampire clan. Doing so will allow you to unlock the ancient powers of the Vampire Lord. In addition to being stronger than a regular vampire, the Vampire Lord also has its own skill tree, which can activate new powers and abilities as you slay enemies. Dawnguard is a very good expansion for Skyrim. I wouldn't say that it's necessary, but I would recommend it if you want a questline that has a little more thematic flavor to it. Alright, on to Hearthstone, the second expansion with a much more straightforward focus. In Hearthstone, you have the option of building a house, and if you so choose, marrying and raising a family. And that's it. I'm not trying to disparage Hearthstone, but there's not a whole lot to it. That being said, building a house can be a lot of fun. You start by getting your plot of land, then going out and building a foundation, harvesting materials that you need for construction, then deciding which rooms and expansions you'd like to add on to your homestead, decorating, which allows you to go from bare walls to fully furnished residence. I personally really enjoyed Hearthstone because it broadened the experience of Skyrim. It expanded the number of things I could do to interact with the world. It gives you the ability to create a personal space within the game world, somewhere where you can just store extra gear and materials that you have, or display trophies and proofs of your conquests. Hearthstone is probably the least necessary DLC, but if building your own home sounds like something interesting, then yeah, I would definitely recommend it. And so we come to the last DLC. After getting into a minor kerfuffle with some masked cultists, you learn that somebody out there wants you dead, and they call themselves the Dragonborn. If you choose to pursue them, you find yourself on the distant island of Solstein, close to Morrowind. Solstein is an island with its own history, its own ecology, and its own dangers. If you choose to pursue this mystery, you'll find new enemies, new allies, and plenty of secrets. Dragonborn is, in my opinion, probably the best of the Skyrim DLC, if for no other reason than it's its own little self-contained adventure. The island of Solstein is its own little location. It has its own towns and NPCs. It has its own monsters and quests. It even has unique items and weapons and armor that can only be found on that island. It offers the same opportunities, whether you've already beaten the game or if you want to treat it as a side quest from the main story missions. As if the unique location of Soul's theme wasn't enough, the big theme of Dragonborn is mystery and secrets. And for effect, there are a lot of quests and events that reinforce this, giving the DLC its own atmosphere. 
it feels like a whole new adventure. Mm. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah. Two dragons? Yeah, this might be a little this might be a little too much adventure for me. If nothing else, I would definitely recommend Dragonborn. It's a near-perfect example of the kind of grand adventure that Skyrim is capable of. Alright, thanks for listening, and have fun out there. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta go clean house. Hey! Hey you! You get out of here! I told you kids to stop practicing your necromancy in my backyard! Damn teenagers and their black magics!